Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the tales of Jai Katan. And in last episode, we did head west towards those ruins in the Deadlands. Uh, it even hired a, uh, spent most of our savings to hire a mercenary company. But ran into unspeakable horrors. Fire raining from the sky and hordes of robots. Luckily, we were able to escape with our lives. The mercenary company, not so lucky though. Two of them actually did make it back. Uh, we're actually just sleeping through the night. Covering our wounds, we start to hear uh, noises from the town outside the gate. It seems that they are under attack. Uh, we're going to go investigate. Everybody's going to get up. Oh, man, maybe turn off that uh, three times speed. <laughs> that was a little jarring. It does look like there is a fight. It does look like grass pirates, but I think they have it well in hand. But maybe we'll try to help out a little bit. I think they've probably got it, but... We took a couple hits. At least we'll be able to get a couple swings in to help out. All right, everybody, medic up real quickly. I kind of wonder if they did have a. Uh, let's just look real quick. Yeah, I don't believe they have a slaver or anything here. So, well, I suppose we wouldn't mind getting their loot. All right, maybe I can get some uh, better weapons. That is not bad. Yeah, kind of shoddy. Not worth the time. I might take that anyway, though. Let's grab that. I think they might have actually picked him up while I was doing that. Uh, unfortunate. Well, let's just quickly, if we can grab any weapons. Nothing too great there. Uh, did you really catch me stealing? Uh... All kind of shoddy. Whoa, that's actually not too bad. Let's see who else we can grab before they start uh, grabbing bodies. Okay. I think that is actually about it. Alright, so group huddle. Let's think about these weapons here real quick. I mean, maybe Jai could try his hand. Had a little bit of a different weapon. We'd have to drop it. Maybe we'll sell that. Yeah, let's head into the... Uh, let's go head back to the bar and see about giving up our loot here. And we still do have these two mercenaries. They feel obligated to uh, perform their contract. I might use their help to get to uh, at least the next village. I think the party will abandon their uh, quest to the west. Uh, that ruin map for the time being. Because that is far, far above their level, it would seem. I think they have no desire to go back there uh, anytime soon. All right, so let's head into the bar. Maybe try, we'll try to spawn off that pole arm. Yeah, we can sell that for a little bit. So let's see what everyone else has. 
That is a lovely katana uh, Redfire has, so let's keep that. 0.69, that's not too bad. 0.47. Okay. So let's look over what we have. We'll definitely trade with Ray. Okay, so that's slightly better. And new you have, and eh, not bad. All right, we'll see if we can sell off the rest of this then. And I might keep a backup just in case. We'll sell that off. The only thing we managed to salvage from that trip to the west. Okay, so not too bad. You got a couple more cats in our pocket. Then we get Red Fire a proper helmet as well. At least something. Better than hide coverings, I suppose. It is a little bit of an early start, but the party awakened in the middle of the night. I think they're feeling, uh, maybe they should get going. Yeah, we have a decent amount of food, and I don't believe on our map it doesn't seem too far to the next town. Does not seem to be a whole lot going on here, so we're going to be heading towards uh, Black Scratch. I do believe the party's uh, idea. We'll head over to Black Scratch. And if we find anything else, maybe we'll head over to up to that village. And then kind of start to make our way back to home. Uh, currently in Hang. We're opening up a little bit of an inn and a bar. Where Redfire is doing his cooking. And everything is going okay there. But we had an idea to make some money. And so far it's uh, not going so well. The mercenaries are able to keep up. Yeah, sadly, uh, out of the whole company, only those two uh, were left alive. A little bit of two times speed. Now, interesting, they do see a building uh, coming up there. We want to go check this out. It is always that the Forbidden Zone lies beyond. Well, we'll have to be very careful indeed. Now, I... I knew another guy who knew this woman. Ah, okay. Who's second uncle. I believe Redfire doesn't believe the story. Okay, well, if we come to the Citadel... It's home of the black dogs. Trespassers beware. Definitely closed. Doesn't look... No one on the gates. And if they're home, they're not... Definitely not noticing us. Dry's just gonna poke around. Uh, you guys stand watch. Just in case. Place might look a little bit of abandoned. I 
It'll take us some time to get this gate open. Okay. Actually, Jai managed to get the mechanism loose. Actually, New is volunteering to go in and see, though. Does look rather abandoned. Is it going along the back end, it would seem. Have to be very careful after our previous encounters. You never know what might be behind that door. All right, careful, new. Oh. Yeah, new does uh, see the uh, dogs. It does look to be... Can we not get through there? Oh, I guess we do have to go around. See the dogs. Here's the ruckus upstairs. Side's definitely not a good idea. This is basically... This is pretty much lived in... Must be one of the many bandit gangs. Uh, the pavilion in the land. Alright, so we should be alright. So let's keep on heading out towards Black Scratch. That was a little bit of a bust. We're not broke. We're not any richer through this adventure, but maybe a little bit richer in spirit. And Jai did get a new uh, saber. Interesting ruins indeed. I wonder what this used to be. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Everybody slow down as they you know, get to the edge of the hill. They do see... Uh, A group of bandits. Just starting to look on our map. Just wonder if we shouldn't be going this way anyway. They're heading that way, so let's go any other way with that. Would be a good idea. Yeah, Ray's arm's still not uh, 100%, but he's not going to say anything about it because Ray can't talk anyway. I think it might be a better idea to go through here. I assume this would be the direction of uh, Black Scratch. I'm going to get a little bit closer to look at these ruins. Definitely very interesting. So luckily, they've managed to avoid anything. So now I'm going to be able to speed it up and see if we can get them going in the right direction. Oh, but actually the town is 
right there. Interesting enough, it looks like the garb is of the tech hunters. So this might be a tech hunter city. Pretty interesting. It's the first uh, tech hunter city we've run across. Let's give us a normal greeting when we get in. And it does look quite impressive. I don't think the party's ever seen anything quite like it. Just enough, it seems a big science's library on it. So we're very intrigued by this. Let's go check it out. Welcome to my bookshop. All right, what is this place? Books and paper from all the world here. I even have a few writings from the Holy Nation. Yeah, most people can't even read. Alright, tell me what you got. I'm curious. Wow, okay. This is quite a bit. Uh, it shows us many books. Uh, more than you could possibly count. Also various maps. It's got some more local maps of the land. All right, well, let's get out and learn these real quickly. Should be able to expand our uh, quite a bit here. It's a treasure map. That is going to cost us a bit of money. We'll save what we have now, but it's quite a plunder of technology. Could be much we could learn here. All right, Jai's going to go read the, the treasure map together with the party. Is there anything close? There's another way station over there. a lot of the uh, places in the swamp as well along with the hive so quite a bit expanded there there's the way station but it doesn't look like any nearby treasure other than our treasure map far far to the south that looks quite dangerous so let's go check out a little bit of the rest of the town robotics workshop Farm shops, various traders, mechanical shop. A tech hunter shop is, oh, might as well go check this out. Does actually have some nice equipment, but it's uh we just have a map kind of the local area as well. And I've been meaning to pick up this might cost us quite a bit. We'll pick up a bedroll too just in case that does come in handy. That's another cheap map as well. Fortunately can't afford it all. Oh, this one is way far, far, far to the west. 
farther than we've ever been. And so quite a few ruins down this way as well. I don't think we'll be going there uh, anytime soon. I almost popped into the bar for a little bit as well. Got more mercenaries, but that didn't turn out too well for us last time. And there's a tech hunter. I might have to talk them up as well. Oh, he's just part of the mercenary group. Alright, fair enough. It's a very interesting town. We would like to be back at some point. But we need some more cats in our pockets. We've basically spent most of our money. So it's the party midday. Oh, we're going to head up north to check out this village. It's the only closest lead we have. And probably a little bit. This land seems to be a little bit safer. Yeah, Jai would get back to like to get back to his book learning, and Redfire would like to get back to his cooking as well. An interesting adventure, but I, I think they would like to forget about uh, that ill-fated trip to the west, and I can still hear the screams of the other mercenaries that died buying them the time to uh, run away, as it were. Luckily, it has been quiet out here. Definitely a lot different than our uh, area we grew up in because there's a lot more trees, vegetation. And things can actually grow here. Yeah, the party very careful because a lot of nooks and crannies out here that they can't really keep your eye on everything. And death could pop out in an instant. We'll speed that up a little bit though. Just normally don't ever like to do three times because that could you can get murdered really quickly. At least two times you can uh Well if they do notice somebody on their other end there. I don't think they noticed them, so I think we're okay. More of those bandits. Back up. Uh, it's a little bit of land. We can start to hear the rumblings of a town nearby. We can actually start to hear uh, coming up upon a. Uh, Seems to be a group coming up. I'll just be on the careful side. Yeah, with black garb and blades, they don't look too friendly. Actually, the uh, party notices they can see that. Now, maybe we can try to see if we can double back. Look like we can. Oh, I think the jig is up, guys. One thing we can really do is uh, run. There's far too many of them. Yeah, even with our mercenary friends.
Well, one of our mercenary friends, quite insanely. Well, that's his business, I'd have to say. Well, we'll look and see. We don't want to get involved in this. I definitely don't think they're going to win. They're putting a, he's putting up a good fight, though. Yeah, these two brave Sheck warriors never backing down from a fight. We've actually managed to bring down one of them. Two. Three. They're still severely outnumbered. Yeah, one of the Shuck is down. Well, they did fight well, but... That village, I think we have to double back around the other way. It's too dangerous. Oh, we do have people... Uh, run! I think they have given up chase. I think the nice safe confines of Hang doesn't sound too bad anymore. I think that's more water than we've ever seen though. So I mean they might have to actually you know, we just nearly escaped danger, but I'd like to go out the coast and just see that. It doesn't look like we're being followed. Go check this out. Still see land in the distance, but that is quite a bit more water than they've ever seen. They're actually just going to go dip in for a little bit. Kind of almost refreshing. Most of the party just kind of tried to waddle in. They've Never really swam before, so this is definitely something new. Oh, but then they notice the big things in the distance. Probably a good idea to not dally. Everything that is in Kenchi is all dangerous, yet also beautiful. Let's see if we can double back to that uh, village. Uh, now before nightfall. Unfortunately, our Sheck mercenary friends uh, were just too bloodthirsty. Too brave by far, I think. Okay, so I think we might double back this way. Looks like it might be a bit less dicey. I said that blue area, blue area we've noticed before earlier traveling to the southeast of uh, Hang. It's also very beautiful, very fertile, but yeah, there are dangers of plenty in that land. Oh, seems we have pirates now. Definitely need to run. Yeah, there are more than a few. Uh, they seem to have given up chase as well. And the party seems to have gotten good at the last few days is uh, running away. I 
Let's get over here and bring the party be a little bit more. This area doesn't seem very hospitable. So let's just get over a look. It does look like fertile farmland as well. It's got a shop. Telgear Bar. Looks okay. Approach with caution. Looks nice and normal. United States Garb, they breathe a sigh of relief. Bags, I need to look them over. Standard checks for legal stuff. Well, I do understand, sir. I fancy anybody get to look at a big thing before, so. Actually, does have a bit of meat and some hides. Oh, so this town seems a, a little bit of a safe spot in all the chaos. Well, all right. Let's end to the bar then. I'll talk to the local barman. We have a small town. It does look quite busy. Oh, I didn't actually learn that map yet. So this is the extended towns of the United Cities to the south. And relative to where we were before. Still quite a bit of ways to the south, but yeah, there are quite a few cities in the United States to the south. Grab ourselves. I want to look around a little bit before the stores close for the night. Talk to some local inhabitants. A new guy. Are you hiring? You're an adventurer? I charge 3,000 cats. You're teaming up. Apologies, Anna. We can not afford that. Talk to the local hiver. Uh, a lot of people looking to join up, but uh, cat's a little bit low at the moment. See nothing. Luckily, we've just not entirely. Whoa, whoa, whoa! No, don't go around stealing stuff. Probably a bad idea. All right, we'll check the local travel gear shop as well. World's End does sound intriguing. Right, we'll get World's End and... Uh, Alright. Another treasure map, as it were. My party's starting to worry. Uh, Jai became a little obsessed about maps. Okay, so let's see. We could strike it rich, but it doesn't look like it's anything close. Yeah, world's end. Coming all the way to the south. And a ruins far, far to the west land of the uh, mist. Not very helpful, unfortunately. Look like a far lot of farming out here. We did get an early start, and the party is uh, probably tired for the most part. So we will bed in for the night, 
And then I will see you uh, in the morning as when we head out. Well, as the party is settling in at the uh, bar for the night and various drinks, a uh, commotion outside the town. I just love those grass pirates they saw earlier are now attacking. Uh, so I think we will try to help them out. I mean, the odds are a little more even. It seems these gas pirates are attacking the town. Redfire, you ever shoot one of those before? Well, I'm sure he'll be fine. Wish they knew taking a hit. Jai also mounting the guns. Jai getting customers new blade, not doing so great. Yeah, there are very few guards to defend this city. I think they do appreciate the assist. Chai, you're in a little bit of a bad spot, though. I think you should probably... Get back to the rest of the party. Yeah, there we go. Red Fire New joined the battle again. Oh, Jai knocked down. Red Fire leaping to his defense. Fire helping cut another one of them down. Real quick. Unfortunately. Jai took a heavy blow, but the rest of the party seemed to have minor scratches. Why don't you put him in bed for now? We'll see about grabbing their blades, anything they might have. So that might be a bit a bit better. this one down that's getting up. There were some out people outside of town as well. There's anybody else here, so we'll go check the outlying outskirts of town. It does look like there's a few more bodies outside here. Now this must have been the uh, grass pirates are pursuing us earlier. All right, well, I knew you're gonna have to grab some stuff. Pretty shoddy armor, so. Don't seems like uh, crime didn't pay this time. They seem like one of them are up again. And immediately gets put down. Okay. That's not its excitement. Jai, did you get up? No, Jai, go go rest, my friend. I could probably use some healing. Redfire, you go as well. Actually, Redfire, no, there's only a few beds, so 
New, I want you to take that one. Look ourselves, we can see it. Pawn any of this stuff off. Just maybe to cover our uh, expenses for the night. Uh, we made a few bucks. All right, gentlemen, we'll let uh, rest, and hopefully the night will be uh, uneventful for the rest of the night. And no sooner as the party had actually begun to settle down again, uh, Jai, Newman Ray resting, Redfire lounging below, the heat of the battle still exciting him. It seems uh, the Blood Reavers we had saw earlier. No, Jai, you need to go back to. Hope I don't get charged for that. We'll have red fire. Go check out the commotion. See, there are reavers attacking. And red fire. I wonder what his father would have done in the situation. He charges into battle. I want to help out on the guns if we can, actually. Might be the better idea. Knew you might have company. Dry getting up as well. Battle is joined. Okay. Been quite an eventful night. Is we can dispose off this battle. And actually, a very, very nice crossbow he finds. Their armor are rather shabby, though, not worth too much. But their weapons might indeed hold value. Probably don't want to go around looking like a reaver, so I think we'll stay away from theirs. Pick that up if there's anything. Uh, another grass pirate. Let's see if we can help this samurai. Not sure why the rest of them aren't helping, but... We'll see what we can do. New, grab that one as well. Grab the weapon off him. You two head out front. It's quite a busy town. I think that they're grateful we were here. Not bad indeed. Really? Pretty brave man. And one of the Reavers did manage to get up onto the... Uh... I'll put him down.
Definitely, definitely a night of excitement. And believe it or not, one of those mercenaries is back. The Sheik. Really taking his duty seriously. I'm not sure his friend made it. Kind of amazing, to be honest, that he took that many of beatings. Right, now that's actually a very nice bow. Um, I might keep that. I mean, I wouldn't mind trying that out. Well, I'll sell it to you. We do have some ammo for it. I mean, it wouldn't hurt. Let's see what else we have to trade. And we'll probably sell this one. Okay. So a decent night profit, I suppose. Red Fire definitely needs to rest after that battle, though. And new as well. I think uh, Ray will stand watch this time. Luckily, there are also some bounty hunters that were in town as well. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I will uh, see you guys uh, hopefully in the morning. Maybe the party might sleep in a little bit. Uh, we'll see what more this town has to offer. The party awakens in the morning and evidence of battle is still outside, but the scene, town seems to have quieted down a little bit as well. Another United Cities patrol came in in the morning. So we might just check out this shop. Quick before we got on about our way. Say goodbye to these good townspeople. Unfortunately, I just... An animal would be interesting, but... Uh, we can't afford to feed another mouth at the moment. Alright, so let's head out. And actually check in their map. We are long to return home, so I think we might head out. And go west towards eye socket. I'm not sure we actually had checked out that we hadn't checked out that way station. We might go check out the way station on the map. And then head up north to the uh, slave camp. Some cap to the north and then by way of hang. I think that mercenary's contract should be done by now. I'd almost tell him to go home if he would accept it. Uh, but an oath is an oath. So I believe a relatively peaceful trip after the the night of in and out fighting. Jai's also uh, got his new uh, bow strapped to his back. Just think give that a try if the time uh, is right. Definitely a very interesting land. Well, they do see a beast patrolling over there. Would there be... Everybody hunker down real quick. Well, it actually does seem like those are... Uh, friendlies at the very least. Let's see if we can go out and help.
Just look like these big things can be beaten. And that is our mercenary. This guy's quite crazy. I don't think he's going to win that, honestly. Looks like there's another big thing fight. Might help them kill it off, or I don't think we should probably get involved. Or maybe you want to grab that up. Uh, we'll new. Guys, maybe want to head over. Oh, okay, wait, it's, it should be safe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, that means our mercenary didn't friend didn't fare well. Oh, he's still fighting, actually. Guys, don't get involved. I'm hoping there's not a bull in his back. Is Jai? Well, he's just learning the bow. Unfortunately, Jai, uh, Redfire got in the way. Well, the check feels like his job is done now. Hey, Jai, you're getting kind of dangerous with that, my friend. Now, everybody, everybody right now, let's medic up here. Grab all that you can. Make sure these all, uh... Jai, I can't help but feel like we were somehow responsible for that. Just make sure we have all these guys down. Uh, Jai, you should probably carry him since I'm pretty sure you ended up knocking him out. Maybe we'll try to keep up with that, uh... Bounty Hunters at least keep safe for the moment. I just hope Jai's not too mad when, uh, he wakes up. Bit of a learning process. Nice. We'll start heading towards eye socket again. They seem to be going the other direction. Which, to be fair, I don't feel like that feels safe, but they do seem to know what they're doing. Alright, so, members of the party, not doing so hot. Uh, new especially, a little bit damaged his leg. It is a fair bit walk. Almost thinking about returning back to town, our previous town, but I feel like we can make it. Or just go two times. Unfortunately, Red Fire is going to be out uh, for a, a little bit longer. It's 
a beautiful land. It's just a shame it's full of such deadly monsters. You can see even more uh, over the horizon there. Quite a few, actually. Well, let's take a second since I dies awake. Kind of confused of how he got felled, but it's almost a big thing to the uh, behind, and he's lucky to have been alive. That's my story, and we'll stick to that. Oh, well, we have to have quite a bit, fair, bit more knowledge now. Let's head off to the. I do see some big things to the right here. And a whole lot of whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, we're definitely not going that way. I don't seem to be gathered by that tree, but there's more than I think we've ever seen before. Definitely interesting, but we're not going there. Let's head back this way. And it should be the way to go, hopefully. I don't know why you want to... You don't want to go over that way. Well, maybe as long as we stay away. Would be the better option. I think we'd be so grateful to see a slave town. Right, so we'll head back over here. And the party's gotten a little bit better. Uh, Red Fire's starting to, I'm starting to make blades. New getting a little bit more deadlier. And Ray as well. And slavers are welcome enough if the price is right. Ray not happy to uh, be here, of course, but does understand that. He is no longer a slave. I think we managed to get that at least that much across. Yep, I think we have uh, pirates. Or one suicidal pirate out of nowhere. Not sure why he thought that was a good idea. But he's luckily in the right place. At least still may, may make him a slave. Right, ladies and gentlemen. I think we will leave off here, though. At least we're making the best of a uh, badly sought expedition. So I think next time, yeah, we'll head out over to the uh, way station. That we didn't see previously. And then maybe think about just kind of heading west again preliminarily. Just scout it out, scout it out. Bradley and Jim, hope you guys enjoyed. Should tune in next week for more of the Tales of Jai Katan.